So we've talked about how it is now rosé season, and I am so excited about this rosé. So it's called Pink Pink, and I'm so excited that I already had it with dinner yesterday. <laughs> so it's a little bit less, um, and the color doesn't look as cool here, but you'll be able to see from the photo that like it is just this gorgeous pink. Um, and it is, I think the first time they've either made this wine or the first time it's been imported in the U.S., um, so I'm very excited to have it. It's out of Germany from, I won't say it correctly, Schloss Mullenhof. Schloss Mullenhof. I think that's how you say it. Um, and it's a blend of uh, Saint Laurent, Muller Turgau, and Gelber Muscateller. Um, so that means there is some white in here as well. And uh, so basically it's a co-ferment red and white wine, but made into a rosé. And I believe it had a day of maceration all together. And um, what was the last thing? Oh, and 10% uh, of it was a whole cluster. So uh, that should add a little bit of intrigue to this wine. And um, unfiltered, obviously, you'll be able to tell from the bottle. It doesn't have a ton of sediment in it, but it is just cloudy and it looks like a beautiful lava lamp almost. Um, so on the nose, It actually, well, I guess it's probably from the Muller Turgau. Um, it's actually more aromatic than I would normally expect. And I think that's probably coming because that can be a more aromatic grape versus some of the, the reds that are in here. Um, but I'm getting like, I'm getting the citrus notes first before I'm getting like cherry notes or I'm actually not, I was expecting, <laughs> you look at it and you're like, oh, I'm gonna get watermelon. I'm not getting watermelon on it. Um, I would say that it is actually a little bit more savory than, than that. Um, it was more, more goes down like the heavier, like raspberry, cranberry notes um, than like strawberry watermelon, uh, at least on the nose. So let's try it. Yum. <laughs> so this is one of those that's gonna be gone in two seconds. Um, it is so easy to drink and um, Again, I'm starting off with the citrus notes and it's more lime, like a, like a really zesty lime. And then after that, I'm experiencing things like bright red cherry. And honestly, I'm not even getting that when I drink more. Let's just try again. No, yeah, the cranberry is definitely still there. Um, so some really, like nice complexity for such what should in theory be such a simple rosé, uh, but again, like really easy drinking. Damn, like this could just be gone <laughs> right away. Like you could you could serve this out of by the liter for liters at um, a party. Uh, so from a pairing perspective, I would love to see this with like barbecue. It's it is heftier than your normal rosé, so it could go with um, like uh, what are those like sausages called those polish sausages i don't know just generally any kinds of bratwursts and um those other those other polish sausages like that would be great with this um and then you, but you could also go light like you could go salad um like salad with dried cranberries or man, that, that might be too too fall salad with strawberries even though i'm not getting tons of strawberries in it um and like a nice vinaigrette yummy but again like porch pounder for sure glue glue delicious great for um great for fall or so, sorry great for spring definitely could take you into summer um so yummy and i hope you have someone nice to share this one with